John, where are you? Come on up, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Moreau. And he is a student in the area. Let's see, what else do you do, John? Are you going to be a rocket scientist or what are you going to be? He's not sure what he's going to be yet. God's still working with him. I, I told him, you know, there was a possibility of, of a beach vespers where we could do a beach baptism. And he said, well, uh, going to be having a little, little operation. So needs to happen before then. So I said, no problem. Then I went to Norm and Norm said, you know, our, our baptistry leaks. I said, well, can we get it fixed? Well, I don't know. So I said, don't worry, Norm. I have another way. And then I didn't, didn't really know that it would be 106 today. So I have water for you if you're worried. There's water over there. But in a moment, after we have a prayer for John here, and after we go into a quick business session and uh, make a vote about accepting him into membership, I'm going to ask you to come around the side of the church and into Oak Courtyard, which is behind our Sabbath school wing there, and I want you to stand and watch while I baptize John in a horse trough. Every, uh, all the cowboys are going, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Pick me next. <laughs> We're going to do this under the water. I, I'm going to put him all the way under the water because it signifies that John has chosen the life that Jesus would have him live. Okay. Those of you who have done this already, I want, to, I want to say God bless you and the Holy Spirit is trying to help you keep your vow. Those of you who have not made that decision to make Jesus the Lord of your life, it is now that you need to do that because you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. And I'm not trying to make you scared. I'm just stating fact. I don't know about tomorrow. You don't know about tomorrow. So don't say, oh, I'll, I'll become a Christian someday. Today's the day. Talk to me if you want to do what John is going to do today. Talk to me about that because I know that there are some of you who are struggling in the valley of decision as to whether or not you want to be a Christian. Maybe you're saying, I want to be a Christian, but I'm not so sure about the Adventist church. Well, guess what? We've got some studies going on, right, Denise? We've got some studies going on beginning next Sabbath that can help you understand a little bit more about how we see the Bible and how we see Jesus. Take the opportunity. Push everything out of the way because I guarantee you there's going to be stuff that's going to come up that's going to try to keep you from coming to those studies. Push it out of the way. Give Jesus space in your life to tell you about himself so that you can be like John on the same page with Jesus and his perspective about this life and the next. As a the pastor of this church, I'm not the board chair, Milt Hinkle is the board chair, but I'm kind of co-chair with him. As the pastor of this church, I'd like to ask if there is a motion to accept John into membership subject to his baptism. Is there a second? There's a second. All in favor as the members of this church of having John become a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Santa Clarita, would you raise your hand? There it is, John. Any opposed? It is carried. Welcome, John. That's called the right hand of fellowship right there. Okay. And anyone else on the way out, uh, John is going to come this way. Uh, I, I'm going to have uh, Lee. See, he's all, man, you're on the job. Thank you so much. Lee is going to play a little something. It's not going to be anything that we're going to sing because we're going to sing a hymn after the baptism over there. Please don't rush away. Please come honor God, honor John uh, with his decision to be baptized and uh, join us in Oak Courtyard at this time. Okay, there's a song sheet in your, uh, in your bulletin, so bring it out there and you will have the music. Okay, let's, let's go there. John, you're going to go back this way. Milton? Uh, okay. okay. 
They'll take care of you. All right? Follow me. We elected to uh, to use our theatrical voices today. Um, want to say thank you very much to our leadership for making this possible, and um, and for John. John, you uh, you said yes to my wacky idea here, and uh, I, I got you. I got your trough just your size. Okay. And, and no, I'm I'm not getting in. John, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, and your desire to be a part of his eternal kingdom, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a song real quick, right underneath here. has shown how when we accept you, we can begin again, we can be clean, we can start a new life, a life of eternity. Father, we just ask that you would protect John, that you would make him strong in the faith, and that one day, very soon, that you would find him and all of us ready to meet you in the clouds of heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. 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 And amen. I'd like to invite you to the uh, wed- uh, the baptism supper. Uh, I mean, the baptism lunch. <laughs> I was thinking the wedding supper of the Lamb. But we have lunch prepared right through those doors right there. Please turn right around and find yourself a seat. We have lots of food. Thank you for coming. And God bless you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone wants to say, if anyone wants to shake John's hand, come on and do it. Good job. He's fine. You okay?